Hey YouTube, Gear Tweak here, bringing you all another one of my Yu-Gi-Oh! Mystery Booster Pack openings. These are the random custom-made Yu-Gi-Oh! Mystery Booster Packs that my local trade-in electronic store uh, makes. They uh, take in a bunch of different, you know, video games and all that, but they also, I guess, take in Yu-Gi-Oh! cards at times. And when they do, they, uh, you know, obviously make them into these makeshift booster packs that you can just sell. Um, and these little baggies. I've done openings on them before. They actually restocked their inventory. So I thought I'd pick up three more of what I thought were the uh, best ones. They, they're just the price of a normal booster pack. I think they usually, I prefer this store that I got them from because they usually give a few more better cards than the one closer to my house. So got these ones to open up. Really excited just to see what we get. This one for sure I picked up just because uh, this for the Magnet Warrior deck seems like a really nice card for sure. And Brow and the Super DD Crow, just, you know, usable cards as well. But what the true mystery is, is just to see what's in the pack themselves. So let's go ahead and get started. You know, I'm actually going to save the Brow for last and then the Magnet Reverse. Let's start off with the DD Crow and see what we pull. And I always... I, I'm just gonna rip the bag like I normally do and you can kind of see sometimes they just give me cards from a bunch of random boosters You could see how there looks like I'm older looking cards, but we start off with the DD Crow from Legendary Collection uh, GX our next one is the powerful Berserker Crush for Winged Karibo almost looked like there was a card sticking together there Oh, now that is actually a pretty cool card. I thought it might have been the damage I, I would say almost cooler than the actual DD Crow itself is an ultra rare book of life for the zombie support uh, Legendary collection Joey's world is what this set that came out of so I'm very curious to see just what came from these packs because this is a Rivals of the Pharaoh pack and this is from the Joey's world as well so maybe we'll get like a harpy's dancer or a harpy's pet dragon very very cool and then for some of our commons we have level eater guardian of the throne room injection fairy lily you can just see they got these from all over spell ruler shadow of infinity uh, this is actually from joey's world again ed toil cyber intercept mato uh, fire king avatar garunix there's feral imp from metal raiders fenrir another feral imp fairy archer flame manipulator Fishborg Archer, Frostosaurus. I always like to see if there's maybe some kind of usable common within all these. Electric Virus, two Electric Virus. Uh, another, oh, do we get four Frostosaurus, I believe, almost? Maybe playset? Uh, up there's the, yep, almost four, or maybe that's just the third one again. Another Frostosaurus, Kaiser Seahorse, and the last one's actually a usable card from Legendary Collection GS. Uh, Judgment Dragon, awesome. But like I said, I was very happy to not expect the Book of Life. Um, for those of you that haven't seen some of my previous ones, I actually pulled a uh, Ash Blossom. Couldn't believe it from these. But like I said, when they put these together, they just get the cards from other people. They probably don't know what um, you know you get with each one. But just to keep things a little more exciting as well, along with the Mystery Packs, I picked up a few more uh, Legendary Duelist Immortal Destinies because I haven't learned my lesson of just buying the singles. I want to pull an Evil Hero. Uh, Captain Gold or, you know, the Fusion myself. I don't want to have to buy the singles yet. I want to test my luck until I empty out all the stores of their Immortal Destiny booster packs. Let's see how my luck fares. We have a Sun Dragon Inti to start us off. Predaplast, Fire Ant, a Skater, and oh, I saw the Fusion and got excited, but still a very, very good Fusion. Predaplant, Trivoverotum, or Overotum, uh, my words are just completely jumbled tonight. Trifoveretum, there we go, maybe, almost, but still, like I said, good usable Fusion at that. And we have the Creepy Gimmick Puppet Terror Baby for our rare. And we'll open up the next one before going on to the next mystery pack. We have the Evil Hero Infernal Pro. I almost forgot this card existed in this pack. Did I not pull any of this? Or maybe I just didn't notice from before. Dark Necrofear, Call of the Earthbound. Oh, we did get an Ultra, but it is one I still have, actually. So we pulled two foils from this one pack. That's very cool. Evil Hero Sinister Necrom for the Ultra. This makes my playset now, at least of this card also. And Preda Prime. Preda Prime. There we go. Fusion for our rare. So we pulled a Super and an Ultra from those packs, so I'm not complaining with those results for sure. And on to the next booster. Let's see how we do the custom mystery pack with the... I mostly just got it 
for the cover card. I actually don't think I have any Magnet Reverses, but like I said, very, very good in a lot of Rock decks or just the Magnet Warrior decks as a whole. We have Dual Assemb Worm for, this came out, I believe, the uh, one structure deck for Cybers. And our next one is Infestation Terminus. This is a super rare from Hidden Arsenal 7. So you sometimes get lucky with the cards. Sometimes you just get these random Hidden Arsenal 7 cards like I was talking about. And let's see if we get any cool commons with the next couple ones. We have Speedroid Pass and Glider, two of them. We have a Seize Fire, which is not a bad common at that. Injection Fairy Lily, uh, right after the Pendulum Machine which that came from the Millennium Pack. We have Pursuit Chaser, Galaxy Wave, UFO Turtle, The Warrior Returning Alive. Let's see, that's our second UFO Turtle. We have a Snatch and Steal. If it wasn't on the ban list, it'd still be a pretty cool card to uh, get a hold of, but could go in the ban binder at that. We have Magical Plant, Mandragola. There's our third UFO Turtle. Fourth UFO, fifth UFO Turtle. Okay, there's a place in itself right there for those anyone looking for that. Cypher Soldier, for those of you that play Duel Links, you can know how annoying this card can be at times when the Warrior decks sprout up and you have to play against the Cypher Soldier Lava Golem decks. Turbo Booster, Orbital Hydrolander, the Fairy of the Spring, and Ceremonial Bell. So like I said, these cards are definitely all over the place, especially with all those UFO Turtles as well. But, like I said, still only got this one, mostly for the Magnet Reverse from that pack. And once again, let's crave my, or feed my addiction. See how my luck fares with this booster pack of Immortal Destiny. I'm very happy, I probably used all my luck on the first one we opened with that Super and Ultra. But let's see how my luck fares still. Hunting for the Evil Heroes. We have a Dark Necrofear. Uh, Predaplant, Drosophilum Hydra, Magnet Doll, Predaponx, so, yep, there goes all the luck, and Evil Mind for the rare, and then last one for this one. Got a Predaponix to start off with, Gimmick Puppet, Dreary Doll, Earthbound, Wiracocha, Rosca, and we actually did get a foil, at least, I, like I said before in my previous video, the ratios for these are all over the place, but you should at least have one in three be a hollow, so very happy. I think this makes my third of the field spell as well. And we have a Starving Venom Fusion Dragon for our rare. Very, very nice. And then last one onto the Brow Huntsman of the Dark World Mystery Pack. So let's see how we do with this one. My, my question is, because the cards look pretty mint when I get them in the packaging, but they, you know, doesn't almost look like it'll fit there, but I always rip them open, as I said before, just to make sure I, myself, don't damage any of the cards, because I know I would otherwise. But we have the Secret Rare Brow Huntsman of Dark World from Legendary Collection Joey's World. Still a very, very nice card at that. The one after it is World Legacy Trap Glowed from Circuit Break. I think this was a super rare. I don't think it was from the special edition, but let's see. Can our last card win us over? We got the Preta Plant Spider Orchid. So along with all the different support we got from the uh, Duelist Packs, we have this one Preta Plant as well. And on to the commons, we have a Magical Merchant, Battle Boxer Rib Gardna. We got two Red Eyes Black Dragon. Yomi Ship, Viacroid Connection Zone, another Yomi Ship. These came from the yep, the first Legendary Duels pack. And so the Express Roy, I think all the majority of these do look like they're going to be from the uh, first Legendary Duels. I think so. This is from Legendary Duels 4, Night Express Night. TG Rush Rhino from an OTS pack. So this is from an official tournament store there. Uh, Petite Cyber Angel, or Cyber Petite Angel. Dino Wrestler Capaptera. Galaxy Brave, two for one, and Hackworm, and FA Crosswhip. So kind of had that theme there. And at the end, but still, I think, you know, I just mostly got them for the cover cards. Anything else afterwards was a bonus. And the last one before the end of the video. Let's see if the hunt for the evil hero short prints is a losing battle or not. So let's begin the final stretch. So we start off with Zoma the Spirit. Supe, Puppet Parade, and nope, looks like no foil in this one, but we do end with a Supreme King's Castle for the rare. And last one, all right, all the luck going into this pack. Everyone take your bets if I'll pull a Gimmick Puppet or an Evil Hero, or 
any of the other three. Let's see, we have a Gimmick Puppet, Destroy, Evil Hero, Malicious Fiend, Predaplast, and we've got, oh, yep, come one of the other three. We have a Dark Spirit of Banishment, but I do like that most of the time with the luck, if you do buy one of these duels packs, you will hopefully at least get one foil with it. We have a Dark Spirit of Banishment, like I said, still need to pull the Dark Necrofear. Uh, ultra rare as well. I don't think that card's short print. It's not that expensive, I know that. And we've also got a Starving Venom Fusion Dragon to end off the opening. But that is it for the opening. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Like I said, uh, main reason got them was for the cover cards, but still very, very cool just to see what cards they mix and match with them as well. But until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Twig out.